Hey guys, there is a storm and I kind of predicted that this would happen. I didn't expect it to happen as soon as it happened, but overall, Wizards of the Coast has a very interesting policy in terms of how they behave uh, in PR or social media, and they sometimes go to the extreme. So MTG headquarters, he got two cards to spoil, which he, he did uh, a video about it. The video was posted on the MTG Reddit for, forum. And from that point on, you know, MTG Reddit is not a big fan of me. It's not a big fan of MTG headquarters. It's not even a big fan of most YouTubers. So obviously it was very negative and people asked Wizard of the Coast why they would allow someone they call toxic, which was MTG headquarters, to post a video or to have the benefit of having cards spoiled. Uh, Trick Jared, who, you know, every time I read something from him, I just kind of cringe a little bit because he's supposedly the community manager, but he really has no idea what he's doing. And it's pretty horrific what happened here. And he could have 100% expected the backlash. So MTG Headquarters is the only YouTuber I've met I've in person. I talk to him. I sometimes text him. And I think we texted each other just last month. So it was interesting that he would attack Jeremy. Jeremy is a professional marketer. He understands how marketing works. He understands how to build a community. So Trick Jared goes out on a limb and you know agrees with the redditors on MTG Reddit and says MTG headquarters is a toxic individual. He we're gonna take away you know this was a mistake. He never served got the cards. We're really mad at the PR department, which we was a third party apparently. And furthermore, you know we're not gonna give MTG free stuff. Oh, I'm so surprised that he received free stuff, but I did not know about that. And now we're gonna take him off the list. And he's persona non grata. And Jeremy is, for good or bad, he speaks his mind. And sometimes, you know, I've texted him about this. Sometimes he's just got to let it go. Let it go. Because, as I told him, he's fighting against individuals on Reddit who have infinite amount of time. Who literally sit there and screenshot everything you do. That's why even if you were to make, if I were to tweet something and it was offensive to somebody, they would be already read. They would readily screenshot that. Even if I deleted it like two seconds later, they would have a screenshot of it. And they're really big fans of screenshotting everything. Like huge fans, right? They already have the, um, I'm assuming that they use Macs because why not? Maybe they use PCs. I don't know, but they already have the screenshot keys ready to go. The backlash that they received was from Reddit. A different Reddit uh, form, a much bigger, nastier m monster of Reddit form. So essentially, the MTG Reddit is not that big, right? It's just not as big because at the end of the day, it's M Magic the Gathering is not as big as something like video games or Kotaku or Gamergate. And that gets me to the next discussion of what will happen. Our community is really in a bad place right now, and I would not recommend if you know, you were a new YouTuber, I would not recommend you to join our community because it's so toxic and so it's just so bad right now. Like it was looking up, like I felt things were going pretty well, and Wizard of Coast flew out Tolarium to PAX. You know, um, Wedge got to go to Community Cup. All of these things I view as a huge, huge positive. Alpha is, you know, talking about scamming old people, which is fantastic in its own right. All of these things are amazing for our community, and that's why I love it so much. But, you know, there's a war. I can't underemphasize it. There is a war going on right now, and I don't want to take a side in it. Like, I just don't think it's... I don't have a side to pick, but I will say this. MTG Headquarters, it's a really awesome guy. Uh, so is Wedge. And Tolarium, I know a lot less than those two. Because Wedge, uh, MTG Headquarters, 
we we all grew up in the same age. We all were, were in the same Facebook page. We all had the same. We were all on the same Google Hangouts time and time again. I think I still have a few Google Hangouts on, my, on this channel. Probably not a lot, but in my old channel, we used to have ton. We used to have a ton of them. We would have on. on uh, HQ channel and in my channel and Wedge's channel, whoever wanted to host one would get one, uh, no matter what your size. So I'm still kind of stuck in that period where we were all just really good friends, and it seems so odd to me that all this is going on in our small community. Our community is exceptionally small. You know, there's not that many uh, channels in it when you compare it to something like Yu-Gi-Oh or video gaming or even minecraft there's just not that many channels and they're not that huge so at the end of the day it saddens me to see that these are these are real human beings real individuals who are at the heart of pretty much a storm and it's not fun it's definitely not fun for them to be part of it I hope uh, everything is okay, and I hope everyone. Um, I hope everyone comes out of this okay, and I think that they will. But man, I I honestly cannot recommend you guys being like I. I cannot recommend someone who would ask me a question. Oh, how should I get involved in an MTG YouTube community? At this point, I would say no. Is just not a great, um, you know. I would say go on Hearthstone, and it saddens me. It really saddens me to say that. So anyway, leave me a comment below. I felt like I should make this video because everyone was making videos, and for the most part, I've stayed out of it. But I mean, it's pretty much engulfed a whole community. So anyway, bye guys.